This is an excerpt from Peter Ralston's new book, Ending Unnecessary Suffering, coming out in spring of 2025. Narrated by Ethan Martin. By becoming conscious of how overlooked conceptualizations influence your experience, you will understand the impact these hidden activities have on you. There is a lot of isn't masquerading as if it is. It seems like they are inherent in the experience of real life, but they aren't. In order to dig into some of this, let's go over a bunch of common forms of suffering and consider what's behind them to see how they get constructed. Again, for this to make a difference in your life experience, you need to get that all these concepts are something you are doing and not something that is just an aspect of your experience, as if imposed upon you against your will, which they are not, but you have to really grasp that in your experience. Once you experience you are doing it and catch yourself doing it, you can stop doing it. If you don't stop generating those conceptualizations, you will continue to suffer the consequences for doing so. To further clarify this domain of suffering generating conceptual activities, let's look at a dozen rather commonplace examples that make up a lot of the unnecessary suffering we endure. Most people view such feeling states as dissatisfaction, depression, and stress, being worthless, flawed, disappointed, vulnerable, lonely, and alienated, having inner turmoil, shame, and grief, all as unwanted forms of suffering. Investigating these subjects will provide the tools and direction to discover every other form of suffering that might not be addressed here. You may not find all of these particular forms of distress operating within you, or maybe just on occasion, but it doesn't hurt to look into them all and perhaps find something you haven't consciously noticed before. Since we are conceptual creatures, we're not going to give up all concept, nor should we. But there are concepts that create suffering and those that don't, and some that even enhance life. Therefore, we need to make a distinction between these two domains of conceptualizations. To say it in another way, one thought you have will cause suffering, and another won't. What is the difference between these two thoughts? You need to know this in order to proceed successfully and start doing the work of ending unnecessary suffering. Ending Unnecessary Suffering is coming out in March 2025. To get on the pre-sale list, check the link in the description.